Howdy ho, Facebook, social media peoples. Ah, oh, shit. Right now, my dad is traveling, so the one orders might be delayed, unfortunately. We were supposed to do it in the last couple of days, but it never happened. So right now, for those of you who ordered a wand, I ask you to have some patience right now because sometimes in life, things don't go the way we want them to. How do you avoid hangovers? Drink plenty of water before you pass out. Well, if you get a hangover the next day, drink some Sprite. You'll be all right. You can also smoke weed while you drink, but that's it has to be legal in your state. Like you pass out stoned and drunk, you'll wake up stoned every time. I know how that shit works. Well, today I'm going to go check out my, um, my cell phone. Sam Knowing says, I wish we could see you legally smoke cannabis on camera, Josh. Yeah. But I know it's far from ever happening in Casper. Shit. Hopefully soon. I know for a fact that Wyoming is legal for CBD use, so that's a start. God damn, dude, if Wyoming became the last state to legalize it, I'd be like, fuck this shit. For real. Like, seriously, Facebook, there's no telling how long that oil boom's gonna last. And as soon as that oil runs out, guess what? Casper's broke his shit again. So it's like, okay, Wyoming, you want a natural resource. You know what I'm saying? But the only reason Governor Matt Mee doesn't want pot legal in Wyoming is because he's like, well, kids are trying alcohol and tobacco. We don't want them trying pot, too. Blah, blah, blah. He says that, but then he owns the Budweiser factory. He's one-third of Wyoming whiskey owners. So I was like, what kind of hypocrisy is this, dude? You sit there telling people, oh, the reason why I don't want pot legal in Wyoming is because kids are trying alcohol and pot or alcohol and tobacco and blah, blah, blah. And so, okay, you're sitting there saying that, but then you own, like, it's bullshit, dude. Typical politician bullshit. Governor Matt Mead's sitting there saying, I don't want pot legal in this state because kids are trying alcohol and tobacco. Okay, but then you're like one of three people that owns Wyoming whiskey. And not only are you one of three people that owns Wyoming whiskey, but you also own the Budweiser factory. So don't give me this shit about kids are trying alcohol and tobacco. You know, you don't want them trying pot too. That's bullshit. That is complete and utter bullshit. Because if Matt Mead cared about kids trying alcohol, he wouldn't be one-third Wyoming whiskey owner. He wouldn't own the Budweiser factory. If he truly cared about, you know what I'm saying? But the reason why he doesn't want pot legal in this state is because he, he doesn't want it taking away money 
from its alcohol factories. Instead of seeing it like a business opportunity, like, oh, hey, I can have my own pot farm next to my whiskey factory. I can make some serious fucking money here and make the state rich. Instead of seeing that, seeing it like that, Governor Matt Mead's coming from this reefer madness mentality. And it's stupid, dude. Callum Nail Ryan says, I count on public opinion changing the law before the economy forces it. That's why it changed in Canada. Yeah, no shit. I'll tell you what, though. There's days when I'm having a bad day and I smoke a little bit of pot and all my troubles just for a moment disappear. I could smoke weed and relieve my stress and then not have to worry about, you know what I'm saying? I can't do that very often. Every so often I'll go to Colorado and, you know, and smoke. But going to Colorado is expensive. Just gas, food. Uh. That's what I'm saying. It would exactly my point, Kevin Williams. People get caught in mouth, they start craving a beer. Or they get the munchies and they start craving their favorite fast food. I'm just saying, yeah, there are some people who would quit smoking tobacco and drinking alcohol if cannabis became legal. But people like me, nah, dude, I wouldn't quit. Fuck that. Why would I be worried about the cause when the cure is legal? And here's the thing of it, Governor Matt Mead's term is almost up. Ah, when are, I think August 6th or the, um, yeah. So I'm going to do my research and find out which governor I want to vote for. Because I want to vote for a governor that will be good for Wyoming and that will be more weed friendly. You know what I'm saying? Somebody who's got Wyoming's interest at heart. We need somebody who's going to look at marijuana as a business opportunity, not as a fucking drug. So, Governor Matt Mead, your term is almost up. And... It's going to be sweet when we get a governor in here that's a bit more progressive on some issues. Yeah. I did hear through the grapevine, YouTube and Facebook, I did hear through the um, grapevine that... As soon as Canada legalizes, that Wyoming will be next. So, I guess we'll see. Huh. Synthetic weed is only dangerous unless you know where you're getting it from. He 
if you're buying synthetic weed from somebody, oh, I got a fucking goose egg right here. That shit hurts when I touch it. But um, you know, there there's plenty of ways to make synthetic weed without using dangerous chemicals. You can make synthetic marijuana without using dangerous or harmful chemicals. You can make synthetic you can make synthetic marijuana that's not illegal, doesn't involve illegal chemicals and or any chemicals. You can use natural plants when mixed together. So about this time last year, my hair was pretty thin with that shampoo I've been using. Yeah. It does look a lot better. I'm noticing that I'm liking that a lot. After combing my hair out, it's time to put it in a ponytail. Okay. Now the spots where I pick out my hair is pretty much back here on my crown, like a little bit right here and a little bit right here. I hate trichoteria, but I've made I'm trying to make a very conscious effort not to pick at it. And what helps with that is wearing the bandana. Yeah, well, that's why you gotta know where you're getting it before you get it, dude. Unfortunately, when you have trichoteria, it makes you look like you're going bald because you pick out your hair for whatever reason. So the best thing you can do for your trichoteria is to not pick at it. You know. And I've made a pretty subconscious effort not to do it. Y'all know what you call a gay drive-by shooting? Seriously, this is, a, this is a joke my friend Ellen told told on Facebook. This shit's fucking great, dude. <laughs> uh, do you know what you call a gay drive-by shooting? A fruit roll-up. <laughs> oh, that's fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I 
thought of an even worse joke than that. It was kind of dark, but yeah, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> uh. Uh. No, I have not stopped selling wands. I have to pay my fee to have it reinstalled. So, um, my wand store will be back up soon enough. Unfortunately, we are unable to charge your credit card. Your automatic bill payment of forty-four dollars and ninety-five cents USD on August first, twenty eighteen. Some of your account privileges have been restricted until your payment is in good standing. To bring your shop back into good standing, you'll need to make a manual payment or a full outstanding balance by August sixth. Oh, you can do this here. You may also want to confirm or update your credit card file. Oh, fuck off. $44.95 in unpaid fees. Fuck off, dude. I don't know, I'll have to wait till tomorrow to fucking make that payment. God damn it. Uh... 
<sighs> the fee is forty-four dollars and ninety-five cents. Although after this, I'm going to do one more batch of wands, and then after that, I might stop selling them, to be honest. I don't know. I'll be on batch number six, and... Motherfucking bitch farts, man. It went up. Wouldn't hurt to check my uh, Powerball here. Uh, total winning value four dollars or more with the power play huh look at that I won four dollars how about that I won four dollars Next drawing is August 4th. Huh. Oh, look at that, YouTube. I'm filthy, stinking rich. A batch of wands can contain anywhere from 10 to 20 wands. Well, why would I stop selling wands after the sixth batch? Because I'm, quite frankly, I'm depressed.
But selling wands means more Bacardi Lemour. <sighs> Who cares, dude? I ain't no goddamn player, just chilling out. Why am I depressed? I just am, dude. Like, that's part of having autism, is you'll just get randomly depressed for no apparent reason. Are there any spells that cure depression? Not really, no.
Like, even if I appear happy beneath the surface, I'm always depressed. Depressed and angry at the world for things I can't change. I won four dollars in the drawings on the fourth. Hmm. I might go to the gas station so I can get me some monster. Fuck therapy, dude. Have you heard Rick from Rick and Morty's stance on therapy? That's exactly how I feel. Therapists are just paid drug dealers, man. Oh, you're fucking depressed. Here, here's a pill you don't need. Side effects may worsen, but if that happens, talk to me. We'll stop it. Monster Hydros yet? Hmm. Yes, I have. Monster Hydros are pretty good. They, that clear can, yeah, that's pretty sick. I'm mostly depressed about things I can't change, Facebook. You know, there are people in third world countries who suffer, and I can't physically just snap my fingers and like that and make their problems disappear. Like, why should I be allowed to barely struggle and to barely survive in life when others struggle so much worse than me. It's not fair. Fucking A, I haven't eaten today, but 
I'll eat something later. I'm not worried about it right now. Well, I'm gonna go check on my cell phone here in a bit. And I gotta talk to uh some other peeps about some stuff. So like I go to open my storm window and the fucker cracks on me when I opened it because of how stiff it was in the in the window frame. I'm like, really? And now my goddamn toilet won't quit running after I flushed it. And the light fixture in my dining room over here is not working. This shit. And my toilet still flushes, but I literally have to turn it on and off every time I use it. And that's getting old real quickly. So I'll go, I'll go report it into where I gotta go report it here in a bit, but um, yeah. Let me ask you something, Facebook. You think abs like these make themselves? Mm. People sitting there and saying, you don't eat enough. Shit. Look at these abs. Just need a new toilet flapper, easy fix, yeah? No, but I'm going to talk to my landlord about it here in a bit. Yeah, and here's the thing of it. I'm gonna bust up my Sherlock, or did I say Sherlock? I meant my church warden. Here's the thing of it. Okay, talking to your landlord when something accidentally breaks in your apartment or house is good. Because it shows that, you know what I'm saying, you help them keep the place maintained, you know. That makes you a good tendon too, especially if you're, you know what I'm saying. So like, yeah. Sitting there thinking to myself, um, maybe these problems will resolve themselves. Nope. It's like, oh, he smokes a pipe. How old school. Shit. Oh, believe me, they'll let me know when my next apartment inspection is. 
sometime in like September or October more than likely. If you get your phone back, can you do a toilet repair video? Well, no, because I, I don't know the first thing about fixing toilets, dude. I can unclog them and turn them off and pour water in the tank. That's it. But that's one nice thing about smoking a pipe is you don't have to like flick ashes into an ashtray. Like if you're a cigarette smoker and you go to flick your ash into the ashtray, look at that excess ash that gets everywhere. But when you're smoking a pipe, it's a lot cleaner because all the ash just sits in your bowl. Uh, thankfully, I don't have to walk for too terribly long, but long enough, you know, do what I got to do. Oh, yeah, my landlord's awesome. She's been very patient with me, and I really appreciate that. To answer your question, Mr. Jake, thing of it is, though, I'm not sure how to do that. Like, So right here would be a hobbit's pipe, basically. Or like a Gandalf pipe, if you will. Yeah. Like, ooh, look at me. Okay, chill on the next one. <laughs> 